Heard you miss me, baby. Oh, well, I'm back. I'm back. Heard you miss me, baby. Well, I'm back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. I have returned. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I've had some technical difficulties, as they say, and um, it caused me to be away for about mm, five days. So I really appreciate my family that sticks with me uh, when I take a little hiatus. Um, if something serious happened, you just know if somebody would get on here and say, I done went with the ancestors. But until it's that and until that day come, you know I'm going to be back and you know I'm going to make a video and let y'all know what's really going on. Right? Because if you can deal with this mental house, the real mental house, because that's what living in America right now is. And when you finally get ready to admit it, <laughs> the better off we'll be. Anyways, let me share this story with y'all because it's rather sad. and But it's, it's also a testament to the society that we live in. And the unstaying power of um, relationships and how, you know, people get down, I guess. It, it, that's just the best way to describe it. Anyway, this particular article talks about a man. He, get a, he got a life sentence after murdering his wife because she wouldn't shut the, she would never shut up. Did y'all hear me? Did you hear me and what I said? This man deleted his wife because she wouldn't shut the heck up. And this is according to him, not according to me. Um, on, in Ju on June 14, 2019, Laura... Our goal was found by her daughter stabbed to death in an apartment she shared with her husband. On the night of June 14, 2019, the victim's daughter called 911 and requested that law enforcement check on her mama who lived with the defendant um, at the um, uh, Westbury Apartments. Oh, this is insane. I mean... This is sad. Don't get me wrong. I know we can talk too much. And, you know, some men can talk too much. But to be deleted because of it is really sad. So, <laughs> upon arrival, um, Wait a minute. Upon arrival, uh, they found his wife now uh, uh, chopped up about 14 times. According to the prosecutor, his behavior deteriorated in weeks leading up to his wife's murder. Several witnesses testified that Argo's life had spiraled out of control in the weeks leading up to the brutal uh, incident. The defendant had stopped going to work before eventually quitting. He spent his days at home drinking alcohol and visiting a local convenience store to uh, buy lottery tickets. Pressure. You know, and he probably just was, look, I don't want to speak for him, but the fact that he would do something like this, it means he's was, he was under... It wasn't because she talked too much. I mean, hell, he been married her too all this time, and she was talking. Anyway, when they when the police said they said they found her motionless body propped up against her couch. After forcing entry into the home, officers discovered she was deceased with a 19-inch butcher knife embedded into the right side of her neck. Oh my God! Oh Lord! Y'all think this ain't no mental house? Do you think it ain't no mental house? Oh. 
An autopsy would later show she suffered from as many as 14 separate stab wounds on her arms, chest, stomach, face, uh, before the final blow. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Heaven help your people. Heaven, heaven help us all. You know, nobody want to think about, uh, matter of fact, they think I'm crazy when I talk about we really need to do some deep diving into this 5G because uh, it is turning people into animals. It's turning us into straight animals. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see you in the next video. Please subscribe to the channel. If you like what you hear, like the channel or dislike. It don't really matter to me, but just shit me. let me know you out there. Leave a comment. I appreciate it. It's just so hard to get in the algorithms and stay in the algorithms with YouTube that I appreciate any and everything that y'all do. I appreciate the um, watching the commercials. And um, I want you to continue to support the channel by doing those things, <laughs> watching the commercials, donating to the channel. I'm really in the process of trying to get some uh, 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 cameras so we can be able to converse a little bit more. Right now, I've been having technical difficulties. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep it coming. And... Um, as long as y'all keep receiving it, I'm going to keep bringing it. I thank you for being there, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video.